Hmm. I know when the stock market is going to crash. It's going to be on the... Hi guys, it's your favourite YouTuber again, Dami Solari, and you're watching DS Learning Finance. Whoa! Do you guys want to know when the stock market is going to crash? Well, let me tell you some inside knowledge about this. Don't tell anyone. No one actually knows when the market's gonna crash. See what? Yeah, no one actually knows when the market's gonna crash. Not even the experts know when the market's gonna crash. If they're telling you that they do, they're lying to you basically. No one knows, absolutely no one. And what those experts actually do is they judge from the past results from markets crashing in the past. They judge from that and they also use like key performance indicators to predict when the market is going to crash. One thing I can tell you guys is that the market crash occurs when the gap between the wealthy and the rich people becomes far too great than the customers basically. And us broke people like me and like you. Yep, I'm going to bring you in in that brokenness society. But yeah, now you're probably thinking why? Does that, what does that have to do with the market crashing? Well, it actually has a lot to do with the market crashing. Why? Because the rich people, the wealthy people, they provide a product and a service to customers. And that product and that service is worth a certain amount, i.e. what we pay them. But when the gap becomes too big, it means that us customers, we can't keep up with that price being that high. And therefore, that big massive gap causes a drop in the share price which is ultimately what the market crash is about if there's one thing that i want you guys to take away from this i want you to take away that aspect what actually causes a market crash why because it gets you looking behind the mirror glass of what's actually going on the psychological effects of what's going on in the market and that is the key part of investing but enough of that boring stuff what actually causes investors to be scared of the market crash like my african mother likes to say why are you scared for why are you scared of the market crashing ultimately people are scared of losing all their money and that is a very justifiable and understandable reason behind it there are people that have millions of pounds if not more invested in their stock and they may be frightened to lose that money but what is not good is when you listen to people listen to these experts that claim to know okay the market is going to crash in 2016 well guess what bro if i had listened to you that means i would have skipped out on all those great opportunities that actually came in 2016 and guess what the market didn't actually crash so my point is you need to be a lone wolf and take every day as it comes the market's going to crash every day just treat it like that does that mean that's going to stop you from investing no because even when the market's crashing there's tons of investment opportunities upon which you can make a good amount of money from if not better compared to the market being stable don't be scared guys there are ways around it i promise you and that brings me on to my next section which is what to do when the market actually does crash rule number one do not panic Okay. Oh, I lost all my money. Oh man, because this market, why did the market have to crash now? Why now? I've lost so much money, tens of thousands of pounds, all my savings in this. Why now? Please do not be like Investor Z. Okay. Like my mom likes to say, don't be like you. But yeah, don't be like that. Don't panic. Chill, calm down, take a breather, relax and assess the situation from a calm state of mind. Like investing, eh? It's reasons like this that I always say you need to have a stop loss set. But with that said, stop losses don't always 100% work all the time. Majority of the time, yes, they do work 100%, not all the time. In such case where it doesn't work, for those of you that are like investor number Z, just trust in the research and the amount of um, effort that you put into studying that company, trusting the research you've done, that is good. And remember, the market is crashing not just for you, but for your friends, for your families, for other investors. Things will come back again. The market will stabilize again. 
And that's what you've ultimately got to remember with market crash. Yes, the share price has gone down for now, but the question is for how long? And the answer is not forever. There are a lot of investor Z and very few investor A's. But one thing you guys should do when the market crash is not, you guys get panic. Instead, be happy, rejoice. Why? Because the market crashing is one of the best things you can hope for as an investor. While a lot of people are running away, a lot of people are selling their stocks for quick for low prices, that's the best time for you guys to buy in. Because those stocks are now going for dirt cheap, you guys need to capitalize, to capitalize on that opportunity. Before when the, when the market was stable, you're making like 10 to 20% profit for that stock. Now you're talking like hundreds, 500 percent profit increase because the market's crashed. So when the market crashed, do not flee from it, guys. That's your opportunity to buy, buy, buy. Obviously, after doing research, but yeah, buy, buy, buy because you can get um, stocks for dirt cheap, and you can sell them for several times the price that you originally bought them for. Once the market stabilizes again, as a result, I want you guys to embrace it when the stock market crash does occur. Yes, the storm may be horrific. I totally get that. The storm may be horrendous and long lasting, but there's always an end to the storm. There's always a calm after the storm. And that's what you gotta wait for. I've got one phrase that sums this all up and that's by Warren Buffett. Be fearful when others are greedy and be greedy when others are fearful. I'm Dami Solari, you're watching DS Learning Finance. And before you can leave, before you can go on doing whatever you're going to do for the rest of the day, you know what you got to do. Say it with me, like, subscribe and share. DS Learning Finance. Whoa!